Hello, Shane here for Free PC Gamers. I'm going to be bringing you a new horror RPG game called Eclipse. It's really cool. Uh, well, it's interesting in its own way, I guess. It's kind of like Witch's House and artistic style with the aesthetics and whatnot. But it's... The story is like so much better so apparently there's this traumatic thing that causes police officer to have like suffered limitless I don't know what the hell really the kids basically just fucking weird as shit now I played this before but the recording wasn't working for some stupid reason so, I didn't get any of the footage, which is why you'll see like a few save files already. But overall, I played through like the... You see, there's two main characters you can play as, sort of like Resident Evil 2, where you can play as Leon, the police officer, or as Claire Redfield, which is like this female protagonist who, I guess, didn't have anything that would really make... that didn't really add to the other person storyline, but they somehow intertwined anyway. So, the controls are kind of different than most RPG Maker games, where like, in most horror ones, it's like Z is activate or act and act activation and X is menu. Uh, A is, um, use, S is to attack, and W is, like, menu. It's pretty cool, because in this one you can, like, defend yourself, but eh, it's lackluster at best. And I'm pretty sure there's going to be, like, an enemy that you can't even kill. And you'll just waste all your bullets on. Now, the people who made this game, they said on their website that it was pretty... I'll save that one. They said that um they drew a lot of their inspiration from, like, Silent Hill, Resident Evil... And like this other game that I remember hearing about, but I don't really remember the name. I think I've seen it once or twice too, but... Yeah, her whole life is devastated still. I wonder, are they like... I wonder if they're divorced or something. I'm not sure. I'll have to recheck like the wiki or something. Or not the wiki, but the web page. Alright. But yeah, I say it looks really similar to Witch's House. I actually saw, um, funny thing. The, uh, there's a painting from Witch's House where you'll see, like, this, uh, it's like one of those old style ones where it's, like, the lady in the blouse and she's holding an umbrella. And it's the same one from the Witch's House where it's the two ones that you have to match. But yes, this is a female protagonist. Her sister, Rebecca, and her best friend, Emma, and... Yeah. There's actually a funny reference. If you play through a story and come back to this room, and you click on it, it's like, I hope this isn't Emma's blood. And you get that? It's from uh, Resident, the original Resident Evil back on the PlayStation 1. <laughs> it's like, I hope this isn't Chris's blood. God, that was actually a pretty damn good reference. But I'm not sure if they directly referenced or it just came out to be that way. I'm not even doing anything. This is just the story setup itself. It goes to like um, Resident Evil style. You switch between characters like and you get to choose which protagonist you want to play as. So she gets sucked into this room. There's some black guy in a robe. Like, no. Not a black guy, but a guy in a black robe. I'm so tired right now. Uh, I didn't mean to be offensive if I was. But, uh, there's this, like, cultist. And he sends, like, a headless body towards you. Because you're apparently, like, the soul transceivant. This Kelvin... I don't know why I can just call him Kevin. But Kelvin's car goes batshit. 
And I'm going to play through his story since when I tried to play through uh, Andrea's, the fucking thing wasn't recording properly, so. Clicka, clicka. No. He crashes. I guess he may lose his gun off the cliff just for fuck's sake. Better like he loses the ammo. Okay, that's a little loud. Uh, so, you can get boobs and an axe. Or cool guy with the gun. I played as boobs and the axe, so I'm going to play cool guy with the gun. I don't really think... It's not like Resident Evil where, like, uh, one character had, like, increased inventory and one character had, like, start out with a knife, which is utterly useless, by the way. Thank you, Chris Redfield. You're pretty fucking... Uh, uh, it's close. What? Like I s the English isn't the greatest because the people who made this, uh, are native in a different tongue. I think they're f French or something, I don't remember. Okay, let's see. Do I even have a gun? Awesome. Oh, what? Whoops. Oh, I can't use it. Okay. Mist Valley, four kilometers. There's also no run function. Also, you want to kill everyone before trying to activate objects because, like, talking and looking at notes has doesn't stop them. Am I going? Okay, I'm not. What the fuck? Wait, what the hell? How did you get up here? I'm down to the hotel. This doesn't seem inconspicuous. I feel like I should be shooting people. Journal. Okay. So I'm guessing that's where I keep extra notes. Welcome to Miss Valley uh, Hotel. Uh, this already seems okay sorry about that folks I just had to do like emergency disk clearing because I like used up all my data and it stopped recording properly anyway I'm in this creepy fucking hotel so it's probably gonna be like some sort of a cut now if you play through the girls side of the story there's actually a place that's really similar to this Okay. Wait, let me check. Oh, apparently an audio file is missing. Well, if you play the female side, Andrea... Except me, huh? If you play Andrea, the bathroom stall will open. And if you click on it again as to activate it, just this thing fucking grabs you and pulls you inside and kills you. So it seems like witch is witch's house style where things can insta kill you. So you're going to have to be careful with that as well as monsters you have to fight for yourself. So you do get to fight back, but I wouldn't rely on it, I guess. But you know, that's not fucking creepy. It reflects everything except me. I really want to be able to use this gun because I do not feel safe. But if he has a gun, can't he just blow the lock off? What the fuck? What was that? Was it this shit? Maybe? The back door is locked. I need a key. Come on. This is locked, that's locked, everything's fucking locked. I'm gonna save again just to be safe. Yeah, I did play a little way through the girl story, but like, my recording stuff is like freaking out on me. Huh. Of course the lock's broken. Ugh. 
So I'm guessing if it's locked, it's some. What the hell? I hope this isn't Chris's blood. Ah, oh, whatever. I'm sorry, I had to. This seems smart. What the fuck? I'll go jump down you another day. Oh, this is... So I'm guessing that's the only way is to jump down, but I feel like this is going to be a bad idea. I'm perfectly fucking safe. Okay. Room 202. Wait a second, do I have a map? 202, so from lobby it's 102. So second floor, bottom left room. I think those are just locked for the hell of it. Okay, so I'm on the first floor. I want to go upstairs and to the left. the head. It's just some like puzzle bullshit. Wait a second. I have a feeling this is gonna be like a trick one where you jump down to an insta death. Okay. Hotel key. Oh, that's fucking great. Oh, dude, I have limited ammo? Or now, I can only use it till... I couldn't use it till now. That's great. fuck are you? Get out of here with your alien bullshit. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, hey, that was actually one of those, um... What was it? Oh, I've already been in this room. I'm fucking stupid. So I just jumped down. Where am I supposed to go now? What the fuck? I don't, remember, I don't think that painting was there before. Ugh, I really don't like where this is going. What am I supposed to do with the hotel key? the back door thing on the first floor okay why would I need to get to the back door though is there something I have to kill isn't it like through here isn't that thing going through here though okay it's so pretty Oh, uh, it's just a snowflake. If I saw some glint. Oh, God. It's like, not even that darkness where you can slightly see. It's just like flat out darkness outside your view. Which you really know. Yeah. This seems legit. This seems motherfucking legit. Whoa. 
What the fuck? What the hell? This feels like a really stupid idea. Freaks in the back get sort of here. Yeah, I'm just gonna get the fuck out of here, like, right about now. Enough of that shit. That's for sure. So I guess I gotta go up. I can't go up! Oh, come on, man. You're killing me. Okay, I can go around. I was gonna say, it didn't look like you could do anything there. I sure was. Is it gonna be like another. Oh, sounds like bugs or something. Creepy. Ooh. Getting the shivers. I guess I gotta keep going up this path then. Okay. I should check that sign, but too late now. Uh. What the fuck? Oh, what the... What the fuck? I hope this isn't Chris's blood. Oh, God. Oh, God. Just perioding all over. I guess there's gonna be random blood spots. Oh. Really? A graveyard? Not the place you want to be when my crazy shit's going on. This looks... What the fuck? Oh, you're fucking dead, man. Oh, fuck, I'm out of ammo. What? Shit. There is limited ammo. God damn it. And you don't know how much there is. That which was torn of the beast I brought into the... Oh. Well, I think I'm going to have to cut it here. Now, this game's really cool. It's got a really fun story from what I've played so far. I'm probably going to keep continuing this and try to finish each of the stories because I heard that they like tie into each other like really similar to like Resident Evil 2 style where like there's some sort of story I guess between them but I'm not entirely sure. Overall I'd have to say it's kind of like the witch's house except more by story with like depression from the cop and desperation to find her friends and willing to like harm herself or something crazy like that. If you like this video, hit like, subscribe to Free PC Gamers and check out the website for more free games like this and that's it for now. Hello, Shane here for Free PC Gamers. I'm going to be bringing you a new horror RPG game called Eclipse. It's really cool. 
and well, it's interesting in its own way, I guess. It's kind of like Witch's House in artistic style with the aesthetics and whatnot, but it's the story is like so much better. So apparently, there's this traumatic thing that causes police officer to have like suffer limitless I don't know what the hell really the kids basically just fucking weird as shit now I played this before but the recording wasn't working for some stupid reason so I didn't get any of the footage which is why you'll see like a few save files already but overall I played through like the you see there's two main characters you can play as sort of like Resident Evil 2 where you can play as Leon, the police officer, or as Claire Redfield, which is like this female protagonist who I guess didn't have anything that would really make, that didn't really add to the other person's storyline, but they somehow intertwined anyway. So the controls are kind of different than most RPG Maker games where like and most horror ones is like Z is activate or act and act activation and X is menu. Uh, A is um, use S is to attack and W is like menu. It's pretty cool because in this one you can like defend yourself, but eh, it's lackluster at best. And I'm pretty sure there's gonna be like an enemy that you can't even kill. And you'll just waste all your bullets on. Now, the people who made this game, they said on their website that it was pretty... I'll save that one. They said that from Witch's House, where you'll see, like, this, uh... It's like one of those old-style ones where it's, like, the lady in a blouse and she's holding an umbrella. And it's the same one from the Witch's House where it's the two ones that you have to match. But yes, this is a female protagonist. Her sister, Rebecca, and her best friend, Emma, and... Uh, there's actually a funny reference. If you play through her story and come back to this room, and you click on it, it's like, I hope this isn't Emma's blood. You <laughs> get that? It's from uh, Resident Evil. Um, they drew a lot of their inspiration from like Silent Hill, Resident Evil, and like this other game that I remember hearing about, but I don't really remember the name. I think I've seen it once or twice too, but... Yeah, her whole life is devastated still. I wonder, are they like... I wonder if they're divorced or something. I'm not sure. I have to recheck like the wiki or something. Or not the wiki, but the web page. Yeah. But yeah, I say it looks really similar to Witch's House. I actually saw, um, funny thing. The, uh, there's a painting 